Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a little story time. Um, I asked you guys if you wanted to hear about my birthday on my Instagram story and you guys, well 97% of you said you wanted to hear about it. So if you're part of the 3%, just don't even continue watching. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you're welcome to stay. So, about my birthday, I just turned 27 on November 19th. Um, a lot of you thought I was older than 27. I'm only 27. Whatever. I mean, if I look like this when I'm 40, I will not be upset about it. Someone likes it. So, let's get started. Um, well, actually, I want to talk about last year because my husband is just like so good at birthdays and holidays. Last year, I did a Ken's Takes Cabo trip, which was absolutely amazing. And um, when I got back, which almost every year my husband has a game on my birthday. When I got back, I went to the game. My mom and my sister were in town. And uh, after the game, he just like, we we're like walking out into the, um, it's like this little tunnel, garage, whatever. We're walking out and he kind of just like puts his hands over my eyes and I'm like, what is happening? We're walking out, all of a sudden, okay. there's this brand new Bentley outside <laughs> with a big red bow on it and I'm just like, to what? Happy like this is for me? To you. Happy birthday, dear sissy. Happy birthday to you. I'm not even a car person. Obviously, I'll take the Bentley. But I just, I'm not a car person. Like, I have this black Range Rover that I love. I feel like it's perfect for going to soccer practice or pulling up to happy hour. Like, it's just like the most cute universal car. And I was completely content with that. And then he shows up with this, which is like absolutely amazing. So he's just really good at the birthday thing, right? So how do you feel? Go birthday girl, get it birthday girl, go birthday girl, what? So anyways, fast forward to this year. I am in my last trimester, really can't travel. I'm at home by myself depressed because my husband is leaving for like, I think it was like five or six days. They had to go to like three different cities to play. I'm depressed, I'm gonna be home by myself. So I decided to have my mom and my sister fly in again because those are my girls. I was like, you know what? We could just eat and sleep because those are my favorite things to do. So Kenzo goes off to school. KJ goes to like this little class, this little like toddler class. Um, and so they were both gone. I was home by myself, just in the bed, distraught. It's like 9 a.m. So I'm laying in the bed, talking to my mom, complaining about my life. And all of a sudden, two of my friends burst into my bedroom. <laughs> And I'm like, Wh what? Like, where did you come from? Like, what is this? They jump on my bed and they're like, okay, well, you need to pack your stuff. You need to be ready by two o'clock. And I'm like, Happy Wait, birthday, birthday. I'm like, where are we going? Like, wh what do I need to bring? And you guys know me. Like, I like to dress nice. I like to look good. Like, what do I need to be prepared for? Like, this is a big thing. So all of a sudden I'm just like ambushed I'm trying to pack clothes. I don't know what I'm doing. Call my stylist. Hi, King Cartier, 88. <laughs> What's up, Mike? <laughs> um, I call him. I'm like, what am I gonna wear? What am I gonna do? I don't know. So I'm packing my bag. And they also said to like bring a swimsuit. I don't know. So I'm like trying on swimsuits. All of a sudden, half naked, another one of my friends burst in. <laughs> She's like, surprise. So now three of my friends are here, right? And I'm like, what is going on? So she bursts in, she helps me pack my bag. I'm just completely like about to go into labor at this point because this is just like so much. She tells me to be ready. Okay, so two o'clock rolls around. Our amazing driver, Adam, shows up in the Sprinter. 
we put my luggage in there, everyone gets in, and they just have music going, whatever, and I'm like peeking out the window, like, where are we going? <laughs> Um, I knew we were probably gonna stay in California since I can't really travel, but I didn't know where. And so we we drive for like we drive for like an hour and a half, and we end up in oh, Newport Beach. <laughs> I'd never been to Newport Beach. I had heard about it because you know a lot of rich people live there. <laughs> And I know it's like beautiful. We actually joked that we were in Milan because it just looks so like, it's like really Italy vibes out there. So pretty. Um, yeah, so we ended up there. Completely amazing. My husband rented a villa for all of us. So then we had like a dinner reservation. We ended up going to, we went to Mastro's the first night. We're getting dressed. I put on my first outfit. We go to Mastro's, we're walking out the door of the villa. Another one of my friends shows up. Hi, Kai. <laughs> so Kai comes to dinner with us and I'm just like completely like, obviously overjoyed because I'm like, I thought I was gonna be alone and now all of my friends are here. So I'm just like so happy. My sister calls me, which I knew she was coming. She FaceTimed me. So I'm like, okay, well just come meet us at Mastro's. Of course, my sister's 16. She goes to the wrong Mastro's, whatever. By the time she figures out where we are, we're already back at the house. So I was like, just meet me at the house. So we go back to the house, the villa, whatever. The door, she rings the doorbell. I open the door and I'm like, hey sis, whatever. Hugs, kisses, whatever. And all of a sudden, three of my cousins from New Orleans run into the house and I'm like, oh my God. Like. What is happening? Like there's more people coming. So they all came in. So by this time there was like eight of us. Mind you, I thought I was gonna be alone, like by myself. And so now there's eight people in this villa. We're running around like we're on the bad girls club trying to pick our rooms and stuff. It was like, it was so fun, so amazing. Um, day two, we went to the beach. We had dinner. I mean, my husband had planned like dinners for like all, I think we were there for three nights. Yeah, three nights. He planned dinner. If you are ever in Newport Beach, please go to Javier's. I'm a Mexican food girl. I'm from Texas. So it's like, I mean, Tex-Mex is like the thing, but I just love Mexican food. And theirs was like, so it was obviously like luxury, but it was still authentic, but it was just nice and the vibe was nice and it was just, it was great. Javier's highly recommend and their virgin margaritas definitely make you feel like you're on one. <laughs> like they're so good. And then the next day, um, mind you, the whole weekend, I'm just like moving around, but I don't really know what's going on. So like my friends are like coordinating things behind my back. I mean, every morning we had like these beautiful, um, breakfasts come to the house. I mean, it was just, it was amazing. And um, yeah, fast forward. Uh, the last day, my husband had a spa day planned for all of us. So all of us got massages and facials and just relaxed. The, the spa had like this hot tub in there. It was really just absolutely amazing. Everything was so good. And then we hit all my favorite spots. We went to Nobu, Mastro's, Javier's. Um, yeah, I mean, it was like, it was perfect. It was perfect. Like he's really good at this birthday thing. I feel like now I have to make it up to him. His birthday's in February. If you guys have any ideas, comment below. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I definitely can't fly his friends out because I don't even think he has eight friends. But <laughs> yeah, I have to make it up to him. My birthday was absolutely amazing. And when I got home, my mom and my sister had also decorated my house um, and got me a cake and had a few gifts laid out for me as well. And we sang happy birthday. And it was just so great that everyone was involved and I ended up not being by myself. My kids were involved <laughs> and they, they surprised me with a little cake and saying me happy birthday as well. So it was great just to be surrounded by family and friends. And it was just everything I could have asked for and more. I mean, Newport Beach was just probably one of the most beautiful places I've been to in California. And it was just so relaxing and just what I needed. It was the perfect pregnant birthday. <laughs>
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, our little story time. If you enjoy story time um, and want to hear more stories, comment below, subscribe. Let me know what else you want to talk about, what else you want to hear. Um, yeah, see you later. Bye. <laughs>Oh my gosh, I almost forgot one more thing. Um, we stayed at the resort at Pelican Hill and they were so sweet and got me this gift. Um, they actually wrote me this sweet note um, thanking us for staying at the, um, at the resort. And then they got this, the sweetest little like onesie thing. Mind you, I have not bought anything for this baby, which sounds so bad. I mean, whenever you have three kids, it's kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> you just kind of, you more so procrastinate and that's exactly what I'm doing. But they bought me, well, him. They bought him the cutest little onesie with this little matching bib. It has like the little pelican for Pelican Hill. And these cute little slippers. So this is gonna be his his outfit to come home from the hospital. And how cool is it to say that his first outfit ever came from Pelican Hill? Like, hello, the Pelican Hill. <laughs> so cute. Thank you guys so much for having us. We really enjoyed our stay there. I hope you enjoyed us. It was like 10 crazy girls running through Newport Beach, but we had the best time. So thank you again.